Hi, welcome to Art Spot on a Thursday evening, and it's a beautiful Sunday, uh, sunny uh, evening out in Edmonds. Lots of people are walking around for Art Walk. We are going to do this last Art Watch this evening, which is basically a live demo, and a lot of people are really, really curious about paint pouring. Um, and so, uh, it, you know, I just want to show you how cool it is and how fun it is, but also. Yeah, it's messy, but it can be a controlled messy. And um, if Bryn and I end up getting um, paint all over our faces, then um, you can judge for yourself if this is something for you or not. But uh, <laughs> anyway, I think we'll have a good time tonight. So we'll spend an hour doing um, some smaller pieces, and then um, we'll do a paint pour on this size 12 by 12. Um, this is a basically just a, a just a white board, clay board. And then I also want to do a paint pour as an experiment over an older piece that I'm just not crazy about. And we'll see if we can maybe um, revitalize this and bring it back to life. Then I have um, the piece de resistance is a beautiful raised edge panel. This is a beautiful white board, but it does have this wood edge. And you'll see that it's got a raised edge, so it's from liquid art. So we'll be doing that a paint pour on, on this beautiful um, panel and then hopefully it'll encapsulate the paint and it won't run all over the edge and we'll see if maybe that might be something that would appeal to you. So Bryn and I are teaming up to mm -hmm. try to both be filming and painting at the same time. I'll put the video around so they can see me, see if it works. Oh, there we go. Hi everybody, I'm on the other side of the camera. Uh, and then I'm sure mom and I will be changing places and uh, yeah, so let's get back to, to Tracy and the, uh, the uh, paint pour. If you go online and look at paint pour as a Google search, you will see so many people doing paint pours and what frustrated me was um, when I got interested in trying this out, there was like 5,000 different recipes of how to do this and sometimes they're using um, products from maybe a uh, Home Depot, a hardware store. Um, sometimes they're using things from the really low-end kind of craft stores. So yeah, I mean for experimenting that's fine, but what happens to those kind of things over time is they basically kind of crack and fall apart. So I am going with the beautiful Golden products um, from Golden Paint Company and I will be using, I'll show you some of the products that are available. Um, there's the uh, color pouring gloss and this is designed so that you can go uh, pretty thick with it and it won't craze and it won't crack. What does craze mean? Craze is when, uh, if you've ever had an old plate, I think it's all those little cracks in the finish, mm -hmm. that, um, which can happen pretty easily with old, old paint. Um, or um, it also comes in a mat. And the difference between matte and gloss, for those who don't know, matte, gloss is shiny and glossy and matte is nice and flat. Flat and matte rhyme. Um, Golden has a whole series of these, what they call GAC for Golden Art Company. Um, but one of their GAC paints is 800 and it's been around a while and that is the same product as you're seeing we merchandised here. Um, this one's called Color Pouring Medium. Um, the, the kind of the same thing, so this is just making it easier for people to say, I've got the right thing to do a paint pour. Mm -hmm. um, but the GAC 800 is really the very much the same thing. So if you already have some of that, um, and we do carry it here at Art Spot, imagine that. Oh my God! How handy! Mm -hmm. How convenient! Um, so what Bryn and I are going to be using tonight is the color pouring medium, and we're going to be using the matte. Mm -hmm. All right. I've always used the gloss, and now I feel like, you know, doing something different. Yeah. Mom is on um, Team Glossy, and I'm always on Team Matte, because I find that matte tends to be easier to photograph, which is a big component of what I think about when I'm making art these days, because I want to post it on social media or put it on my website, yeah. and matte just, just photo, it just is simpler to photograph because you don't have those reflections. Right, right. 
Um, so go ahead and zoom in here and I'll mm -hmm. show them what I've been doing because a lot of times you'll look at the demos and they've already mixed up the paint. Mm -hmm. So basically what I've done is I've just taken a little squirt of these different colors. And are the, these are the golden fluid paints, mm -hmm. right? The fluid paints. Um, although I did use a, uh, this is a sample size, but this is a um, heavy body. Mm -hmm. And it would also be perfectly fine to use the um, inks, which they call high flow. Mm -hmm. So um, I just basically put a squirt. This is Naples yellow. This is green gold. Mm -hmm. Green gold is transparent. Naples yellow is opaque. So we'll see how in a paint pour, how they separate out. Okay. This is bone black. Mm -hmm. This is cobalt blue. Quinacridone magenta. Mm -hmm. And quinacridones tend to also be kind of transparent, right? Mm -hmm. And look how shiny it is just as a um, paint on its own. Mm -hmm. on that, uh, Golden always does actual paint swatches on their products. Yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the matte pouring medium maybe overpowers the gloss of the paint yeah. itself. Or maybe they'll even out and turn into like a semi-gloss or a satin. Yeah. And this is teal, mm -hmm. golden teal. So some of these are opaque and some of them are transparent. And what I'm going to mix, be mixing in is the color pouring medium matte finish. Mm -hmm. So what I've started here, because the um, titanium white is a very high, highly used um, color, I'm mixing up a bigger amount. So I basically put about this much in to this. And wait, wait, can you, sorry, my camera work was not as fast as your quick moving hands. How, mu how much paint did you put in there? I put in a, about this much white paint. Mm -hmm. And you can see I put a lot of the medium in, almost a whole jar of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then the idea is that you need to stir. Gotcha. And if you're using the heavy body paints, you're going to need to stir a little longer. Mm -hmm. The um, lighter weight the paint, as, like with the fluid, or especially with the high flow, it'll mix very quickly. But see how um, something that was uh, a clear medium has become very opaque and white mm -hmm. with, with that paint. It just looks like white paint. Yeah, and we can add more white paint if, and when we do our first test paint pour. If we feel like that's not opaque enough, we can always add more white. Yeah. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that's nice about the Golden Paint Company is like, just as a little free advertising for them, I suppose, but like their paints are so highly pigmented that you can stretch them out, you can add a lot of medium, and still end up with pretty opaque paints. Yeah, and the fun thing about that is they end up being about the same price as the cheap paints. Mm -hmm. Because they're high pigment, they don't have filler. Go ahead and get in close, and you can kind of see I'm just, I'm just pouring in uh, these colors, and hopefully by the end of the evening we'll be able to use up all these. Yeah. Guys, there's going to be a test at the end of the video to see if you can remember which ones are matte and opaque and which ones are, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You guys are fine. I'm <laughs> going to get every last little drop out of that by setting it upside down mm -hmm. and I'll just go into my second yeah. bottle here. Andy gave us a little, little heart earlier. We love you too, Andy. Yay! Um, if anyone watching has any questions or comments or wants to say hello, um, go ahead and type out a comment and we'll see it on the screen and then we can answer your questions uh, or respond to your comments in real time and live on the air. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, popsicle sticks still make me happy. Mm -hmm. Even as an adult, I just love them. Yeah. So I'm just going to mix these until they are mixed. <laughs> A lot of things about art um, are not very high tech. You mm -hmm. know? This is an old yogurt container. I felt pretty righteous about you know using them all, reusing them for another purpose. Mm -hmm. oh, Andy says hi. Hi, Andy. <laughs> Tell um, anybody else that's watching who Andy is. Andy is my husband, and I love him very much. <laughs> I got an extra kid, like a bonus kid. Mm -hmm. Andy um, always likes all of our Facebook posts, so when he comments on our post now, it says top fan, Andy oh, yeah? Alberto. Oh, yeah, it does. It's pretty cool. You guys can be top fans, too, if you uh, comment and, and, and uh, reply to our Facebook content <laughs> regularly. Love on us, because um, we are the last independent art store in Snohomish County. Mm -hmm. And even in the greater Seattle area, we've lost a few this year, so... I'm sure that's happened across the country, but uh, uh, I, I would 
challenge uh, anyone to compare our prices here at the store to Amazon, and you'll find that um, oftentimes we are actually going to beat them out. Oh, yeah. We, Amazon got nothing on us on our art supplies. Yeah. Ha -ha. And you can come and talk, do art speak with us. Yeah. We're a chatty group of people, for sure. All right, so we got these all mixed. They look great. Well, we've got four out of six mixed. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So after um, I show you these independent colors, mm -hmm. then we'll, um, I'll tease them a little bit. We're going to be doing a dirty pour, too. Gross. I know, a dirty pour. I said dirty pour. What's that mean? Or is it you a secret? Have to, you, they have to stick with us. You'll, you're here till the end, so yeah. you'll find out. It took me a while to kind of trust the dirty pour, but they do work. Is that when... Okay, I'm going to... I have, Me, personally, um, I've never done paint pours before, so I'm going to guess that that means is when you're pouring with multiple colors at the same time. Well, we're going to be pouring with multiple colors, but a dirty pour is more than one color in the cup. It's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. So the the controlled nature of this is um, basically uh, I'm just gonna pour these out. That's Naples yellow. Mm -hmm. Here is the green gold. Are we? Am I making a shadow that makes it hard to see? A little bit. What color's next? I'll do black. It's like, no, I need black and the pretty colors. So basically what I'm getting are hopefully some concentric circles. Mm -hmm. Here's the white. Looks like an eye. They call it an evil eye in a lot of countries, but it's supposed to be kind of wards off the evil eye. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, you got that one right in the middle. See how thick it's getting? Yeah, man. Yeah, this apron needed more paint on it. So. Absolutely. When, whenever I'm watching somebody else do something, I'm like, that, no, no, pick the other color. Pick mm -hmm. the other color. Yeah, tell us what color we should put, do next. Here's teal. And literally, I could go in and repeat that whole pattern again. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So paints tend to have different um, viscosities, mm -hmm. and uh, another thing that we'll be trying later, uh, right now we're just doing the pure medium with color, mm -hmm. but we'll be adding some um, lubricant trub, uh, tread oil mm -hmm. um, to it later, and sometimes the tread oil can help you get more what they call cells. Mm -hmm. uh, see how the paint is kind of breaking, you're getting these little bubbles? Mm -hmm. Um, that's sort of uh, kind of what you want to have happen. Yeah. I like it. I mean, I'm, I think for me, like, the bubbles are really, really interesting. I'm excited to see when we add in more of the, um, the, what you just described, the, the lubrication and the, to make it even more mm -hmm. pory and more liquidy. Yeah. Here we're getting one little cell that's forming mm -hmm. right there. I think I'm going to need more paint. Yeah. I was sort of surprised when you went for the big one right away. So I will do another set of colors mm -hmm. here. When in doubt, more paint. This, um, a lot of times artists can be a little stingy with their paint, and this is this, not going to allow you to do that. This is not the art form for yeah. that. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks, it looks like a bird right now, two, with two big old eyes. Or maybe a, like a frog going boing. <laughs> How about if I just... <laughs> I 
He needs to be. Oh, he's getting sad. <laughs> oh no, he's looking down. Mew. Oh no! Oh no! I don't know about that. <laughs> he needs to be more liquidy. It's moving. So we have these um, set up over very, very high tech um, roasting pans, just mm -hmm. disposable roasting pans. Um, we are here with the beautiful hardwoods of our lovely store. So we are taking, we are fully confident that we are not going to um, get paint completely all over the place. Yeah. The uh, thing is, now it's looking un until hugs. it hardens and sets it tomorrow, you could probably clean up the floor pretty easy. That part looks really cool. This looks nasty. I don't know. This part, not so much. But I, li I like the stripe. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. Does it still look a fit like a bird face? No. I think, um, I think it's really thick. Yeah, I, I, um, I wonder if we should put a little water in it. Yeah, I was expecting it to be much more drippy and, and liquidy. I think the viscosity is just too high right now. Yeah, well, maybe it just needs more paint. Mm-hmm. We're gonna need a lot of paint, Bryn. Yeah. I've seen people doing um, tabletops and and uh, all have you, kinds of. Different have you seen those? There's this one. I mean, I'm gonna say this one guy. There's, I'm sure, lots of people on Instagram who do. Um, they get a five gallon bucket, and um, they drill holes in the bottom of it and fill it full of paint, and then they send it swinging out. They have oh, it. Yeah. They have it hanging, and then they send it swinging out over top of you know very large surfaces and it it looks incredible it's super cool <laughs> you're using you know gallons and gallons of paint yeah. though we've got a um a colander here that we're going to pour paint through and see what happens with that too yeah i've always wanted to do that i'll have to make it much more um liquidy for that mm -hmm. so even though i have an art store i'm always still trying to be kind of conservative with my paint so these here are there, if you have a smaller piece, you could actually sit it on there. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, the other thing is if you use a tray without anything in it like that, mm -hmm. you have a whole thing full of paint later and you can actually take uh, canvases and dip in there Whoa. and reuse the paint. You know, I think I'm gonna go grab um, that and I think in the meantime, I might just make this be a little bit angly so yeah. we can do a little something. Can you film and, and move that at the same time? I'm going to go get some water and some um, little tray. It's dripping! Do you Kind of. this tray. Okay. I just realized that I'm not wearing my apron. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Bren. This isn't... the edges. Yeah, it's not, I thought it would be, like I said, just more, drippier. Yeah, I feel like I want to do a wow factor for anyone. Do we have anybody watching? Is we it got, just Andy? We got eight people watching. Oh, it just went down to seven people. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the eighth person will come back when it, uh, when it. Yeah. Maybe they had to go get some alcohol. Yeah. For a wine walk. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to go get a plastic fork and put through it and see what happens. Okay. That's one of the things that's nice about making experimental artwork is it's just you're experimenting and you can try all kinds of rando things and just see what it looks like. 
I mean, we are getting some cool effects. It's just... Well, some of it kind of looks like that. those Italian papers that you get. Yeah, it has like a marbled effect to it. Uh-huh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. That's that's much more interesting. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the thing moving around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I think that the paint is just too viscous right now. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah. It just it's just pick it up on the fork and I can ooh. Getting uh oh. Is it getting just gonna turn into mud? That that's looking a little muddy. I'm gonna give this to you and I'll take the phone so you can play a little bit. Okay. Alright. Alright. Hello, here's my face. <laughs> We're just uh, learning. We're playing and learning. Yeah. So one of the things to do when you're experimenting with a new medium or a new technique is, uh, this is something I learned from Trish Segerbrook, which she would say, push it till it breaks. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't literally like break and fall apart, but you're pushing it past the sweet spot. Um, and this is one of, uh, you know, like a graphic designer often will yeah. use this technique as you come up with many, many ideas until you get so into like crazy ideas that are just never going to be the right one. So you, then you step back from it and then you find, you can't find the sweet spot until you go past it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is looking a lot like marbled paper. Yeah, I'm surprised by how thick the paint is. And, um... That's actually really pretty, though. Thank you. I had a feeling you'd be able to say that. I do like to make pretty things. This would be fun to run like a compass through. Pretend this is like a perfect circle. Then I'm like Spongebob, and I'm like, well, first I draw this head, and then I draw a circle. <laughs> <laughs> we are at Art Spot, which is 408 Main Street, and there's lots of people going up and down the street finding good places to eat dinner, and the, some of the stores are open late doing a, a, a proper art walk tonight. Mm -hmm. um, during COVID, we've pivoted and done Art Watch, and we've visited um, several artist studios, and we've done a couple of... Um, been doing all kinds of different live videos, things that we've been streaming. Yeah. Kind of fun. But um, you're getting a little glimpse of um, the store behind you. Yeah, behind, behind the there. scenes at Art Spot. All right. Well, should we let this one dry, or do we want to keep messing with it? We can move on to our little ones. I think we should um, set that one aside. Mm -hmm. So, you know that one that's down below? Yeah. Um, maybe you can go ahead and sit that on that one and okay. let it just be flat. And it, hopefully it'll just, there might be more cells forming. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, as it kind of all settles. Yeah. Can I, put another, I can put a piece of paper under. No, it's, it'll, it'll be wide enough to just sit on top of that one. Okay. Oh, you're right. Look at that. Yeah. It's beautiful. Don't worry about where we'll put the next one okay. later. <laughs> That's a problem for future us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so do you want to do I would say ones? if we get a bunch of extra paint in the tray here, this mm -hmm. didn't really waste much paint. No, not at all. Um, I thought we'd have a lot more. Yeah. But um, we can use extra paint maybe on the on yeah. the old canvas. I think we need to make the. I think we need to mix some stuff in with these to make them drippier. Okay, so well, um, that's water. We, we could try a, maybe a little bit of water. Just, yeah, uh, make them a little school. more. Let's add some water. Yeah. Um, Pauline Brin. She's going back to the back room. It's like the teacher's lounge. You get to see the back of the store. Oh my God. I'm watching you. It's private back here. <laughs> um, we have 20 kinds of tea. 
I'm looking for. Oh, underneath um, where we keep the toilet paper, there's um, some more of those little red um, beer cups. Or blue, blue or red. What are they? There you go. Solo cups. Okay. Red solo cup. Ba -do -ba -do. I'll fill Ooh. you up. Let's have a party. <laughs> <laughs> we just kind of need to refill these cups. Yeah, I'm going to have to grab some water. Experiment. 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 I was gonna do Don't add any to the white though, because the white, when it's thick, I think it makes better cells. Yeah, I'm, I was just gonna do these three. Okay. And just see, because I this is a trans. Back to that quiz. Transparent mm -hmm. paint, opaque paint. And I don't remember what that one was. Yeah, the cobalt. I would say it's kind of more of a. It's like a. It's the uh, heavy metal. Although I think I don't know if they use actual cobalt. I think they, is it hue. It says cobalt. Does it say hue after this, Yeah, this doesn't say hue. This is the real deal. Okay, it's the real deal. If a paint says hue, that means it's an approximation of a, um, it's a you know, like if it says, it says cadmium yellow yeah. hue, it's not real cad. Yeah, um, um, yeah, it's like, it's a synthetic version of a, 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 of a historical color. Mm -hmm. That would be a lot more runny. Yeah. yeah that will be interesting to see how it interacts maybe with some of the heavier, thicker paints. Yeah. It could be a complete disaster, too. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. how we roll. Okay. Next. Should I do little babies or... Okay. Or something more substantial? Swap out our tray so I can use the tray that has the um the little stands yeah, stand built in. And there's another tray actually behind beneath that too. Oh, yeah. We have a total of three. Okie dokie. These are baby canvases. Babies. These can go out in the gallerini. Mm -hmm. We have a, a little miniature art gallery out in front of Art Spot. Um, we call ours the Teeny Weeny Gallerini. Yeah. And uh, it's um, been inspired by the original Free Little Art Gallery down at Queen Anne. Mm -hmm. By uh, Stacy Milrani. Mm -hmm. You can follow her. Um, at, you can follow her um, gallery at. Uh, it's like Free Little Art Gal the Free Little Art Gallery. Mm -hmm. Um, if you type that into Instagram now, a whole bunch of them come up, but hers is the original one. Mm -hmm. She's our hero. Yeah, we love her. Okay. This one's the one that has some water in it? Yeah, it does. doesn't have any water in it. Mm -hmm. This one's got some water in it. But yeah, you can see how much of the heavy of the paint is still on the bottom of the cup. Oh, really? Yeah. I could have mixed it up better. Oh, that was me not mixing with the water good enough. Ooh, it's dripping. Oh, that's super runny. black which doesn't have any water in it it's just really stuck in the middle mm -hmm. like that's it's not, not moving it's not moving at all maybe we need kind of a halfway down the middle like a little less water and a yeah. little more medium mm -hmm. you know actually that's really pretty with the white showing mm -hmm. we'll just leave it and see what it does yeah let's see if it moves around we'll just see how it what it does over the course of some time okay Cool. Yeah. You know what else I can get? Hmm. A little bit of alcohol. Isopropyl oh. alcohol, not yeah. to drink. 
Well, we can drink alcohol too if we wanted to. But no, it's purple alcohol. That'll That's you, true. That'll mess you up. <laughs> yeah. But it can do cool things with the liquidy wet. Yeah, meat. absolutely. Okay. So well, what combo should we do next? Um, I want you to um, put a little more of this medium mm -hmm. in one of the ones that seems super runny. Yeah. And thicken it up a little bit, yeah. like, but not as thick as it was. Mm -hmm. And then add a little tiny bit of this um, treadmill oil. Okay. Because that's supposed to um, make cells, which is the little circle-y things that happen. Yeah. That's what everybody's after. But I think you really just put in one drop of that. Okay. And see what that does. Okay. It's like it's like a combination of cooking and science and art. Ah! Some of it come out? It's just dripping off the side. Oh. It's real high yeah. flying oil. Yeah. It's supposed to do cool things. Mm -hmm. Some people actually do this with glue, Elmer's glue. Mm -hmm. But um, anything like that, I wouldn't really trust it in the long term to stay together. Yeah, and then there's um, the whole world of people who do this with um, resin. How about if we um, pour white and... I want to pour white at the same time you pour that and see what happens. Okay. Which one are we going for? This one? Yeah. Didn't really match. You lined those up too good. <laughs> and maybe some teal. Maybe do the fork and swirl them together a little bit and see. <laughs> That's really cool how it holds its shape like that. Yeah. Do you like the thickness of the um, magenta color better now? I think it's working better. Um, with having a little less of the proportion of water? Yeah. Hmm. Let's trade. Okay. I, like, I do like this. Uh -huh. Somehow it's got a little bit of blue in there. Oh, um, Stacy Bixler says um, metallic paints will create cells too. Ooh. Do we have any metallic paints we can put in? Well, we do have a whole art store behind us. I think we should add some more colors. <laughs> I'm just going to let it drip in there. Oh, gotcha. I see what you're doing. Stacy, have you done paint pours before? We do like the bling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of times you'll see, like with the resin ones, you'll see where people We'll do like rings of black and gold. Um, yeah, Stacy says that yes, yeah, she has done paint pours that they're super fun. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll see where people make them look like geodes, which is really cool. Oh man, that gold green is that green green gold in the middle of the teal. Yeah, it's really pretty. I like the green and the teal, but I do not like the green and the magenta together. I wonder if I. Let it run this way. A lot of the magenta can just go away. Um, Julie Perrine says, get your bling on, Tracy. <laughs> Julie, you're not going to believe this, but as soon as I got done dropping off ceramic tiles at your house, um, Brynn brought hers in. I did a lionfish. It's pretty rad. Pretty, pretty excited about it. Well, I think we should add more of the, um, I think we need to keep thinning them down, and I think adding the, um, the lubricant will create kind of more of the, those kind of cells that we're looking for and things like that. Okay. 
So uh, let's keep mixing it more paint. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to, um, want me to put some paint on here, um, I'll put a little lubricant in here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is really slimy. Yeah. I think it leaked out. It's a good thing I kept it in a paper bag. Yeah, for sure. Um, a little bit more medium mm -hmm. and a little bit of water. There's still enough pigment in there. Where's the water? Oh, the water is um, on the counter over there. Here's the complete setup. A little bit. I feel like a like a medieval medicine woman. Mm -hmm. It accused me of being a witch. Potions. Now it seems really thin again. I think thinner is better. Get out a little bit more of this. Okay. Gotta break a few eggs, right? I mean, that looks like it's broken eggs. Let's see, you can make some scrambled eggs with that paint. Let's, let's just, this one's not really doing much. Ah! Uh, I think people probably want to see some gold now. Well, it wasn't looking that good before, so what the hell. Ooh, that's super runny. I don't think I've seen people doing it that runny. It might dry by sometime next week. <laughs> I'm liking this, though. That's yeah. cool. I want to do the thing where you put it in the cup, and then you put the painting, um, like, on the top of the cup, and you flip it upside down and pull it up. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Fresh cups. Okay. You can tell we like to eat a lot of yogurt around here. So, just basically adding all these colors and layers. Mm -hmm. Did you put lubricant oil in the red? A little bit. I only put like one drop in. Yeah, I don't think it need too much. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the equivalent of a dirty pour. I'm gonna make this a little thicker. Yeah, I haven't put any um more medium in the blue one yet. Okay. Fast forward. Okay. Oh, my friend Ming is watching. Hi, Ming. She's in Canada. She's been doing these amazing gouache paintings. Mm -hmm. um, they are absolutely excellent. Gouache is getting really popular again. It's mm -hmm. a very old school medium. But, yeah. Um, this is too thick. That's this. We're going to um, put a bunch of paint through a colander. Mm -hmm. That'll be kind of fun. Ah, Ming says that this demo is really fun. Hi, Ming. <laughs> Yeah, this is what we do for work. This is like behind the scenes. Just having fun, trying stuff out. Okay. I'm going to go get some um, gold. I'm going to get the high flow. Mm -hmm. There she goes into the depths of the store. Uh, there's some really pretty iridescent gold fine. Yeah, let's do that. She can't wait to come and visit Art Spot when the um, border opens. Guys, should we do gold or should we do copper? You guys decide. Pick one or the other. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh my god, you're making everybody nervous, Mom. I'm too cheap to do both. <laughs> I'll do copper. Alright. Copper Ooh, it is. Action, that's getting pretty. We just need to get it to drip off all the edges, I think. Oh, Ming says gold. Okay. Let's do it. Thanks, Ming. Artists should have opinions, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Julie says gold, too. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, trying to put in copper. Nobody wants copper. Sorry if the camera went crazy there. I was getting my charger. I just want to point out, if anybody buys the uh, these um, uh, high flow mm -hmm. to save these, because after you use up all the paint, you can put your own mixes and refill these, because you can actually paint mm -hmm. with these. It's 
really nice. This is like the most unanimous thing that I've ever seen. Everybody's saying gold. <laughs> okay, there's the gold. Okay, ooh, pretty. So stretching it out. Okay, that's pretty much empty. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing I opened it. Well, how much do you need to stretch it out? Because this is the high flow versus the fluid. It's still total high pigment load. It's just a lighter weight. Yeah. A um, little bit of this. Mm -hmm. So this is adding a couple drops of the oil in. And a tiny little bit of water. Not, I should have get a pipette. Not too much water. Boop. Boop. All right. Popsicle stick. And this is how you make a smoothie, guys. No. <laughs> it's an art smoothie. An art smoothie. I'll put some into our dirty pour. Mm -hmm. I'll pour a little bit right on here, too, and see what happens. Okay, high value item up there. Yeah. Oh, I want to do the thing where I flip the cup. Okay, I'm going to go get a brand new canvas that will be white. To the canvas section! She's back there, like the behind the forest of pencils. <laughs> Here we go. After Ooh, the art store. gallery We're depth. Mess up all of Mason's inventory, so we have <laughs> to save this and have them pull it out of inventory. Mason's gonna murder so us. We won't get in trouble. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna hand this off to you so you can do this part. Yay! What we're gonna do is you're gonna put the cup like this, mm -hmm. and you're gonna flip it all over together. Yeah. And then whatever happens after that is on you. Hooray! Okay. All right. Okay. Switch. You know, the worst case scenario is... We use up all the art supplies in our store and then have to pay for them. <laughs> or, I don't think there's any personal injury that can happen, and that's really the worst case scenario. Yeah. So. Okay, so I have my beautiful potion of mm -hmm. multiple colors, including gold. Yeah, this is what you um, see on the videos that make you go, I want to do it! Yeah. Ready? Yeah. And go! Oh! Got a big bubble. Okay, that's prettier than the other ones were. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some of that gold to shine through. Oh, the gold's in kind of one spot. It's underneath, because we put the gold in on top. Yeah. So the beauty about the tray, you know who taught me about using these trays was Eric. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> it looks like one of those, um, have you seen those like marbled Ooh. droopy cakes that they do? <gasps> Pretty. <gasps> oh, whatever this was, this is the this is the best thing so far. Oh, I kind of like the ooky drips on the side. <laughs> <laughs> that blue on the edge there is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's oh. like a Happy Mermaid painting. Yeah, I wonder what the differences will be, like, if, like, because this is a stretch canvas, so it's probably not completely flat, versus if we were using, like, a, a mounted canvas or even, like, a hardboard, you know? Mm-hmm. This gold? Mm-hmm. I kind of want to do this. Yeah. I know it's not being a purist, but... There we go. More gold! More gold is always better. Look what it's doing around the edges because it's. Oh, Ooh, wow. There we go. Oh, Check look at with the blue. <gasps> Ooh, it's like fireworks. Ah. ah. I think right. you, you want to swish it around some more? Yeah, this is higher. Uh, this is what I was wanting mm -hmm. from our paint pour. I might have. I, I thought I didn't put very much gold, but it's kind of taken over the world here. That's okay. Drip some of it over here, so maybe it'll help that one along. Yeah, this one is look. I, I know it's just looking sad. Yeah. Well, we can always look at it as just the first layer. The first layer. Mm -hmm. That's what's nice about acrylics. Is that when it dries, mm -hmm. you can um, go over it again. Mm 
<laughs> so okay when we let them um, dry overnight mm -hmm. we can't like sit them flat on the table because they'll glue themselves to the table so that's the beauty of all these little cups is you use cups like little legs mm -hmm. ah, it's an avalanche so the gold um, is just straight out of the bottle it doesn't have any of the kooky mm -hmm. stuff mixed in you like it Mom, don't hold it at an angle. You're oh. going to make everybody seasick. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Bryn is actually <laughs> sorry, the, the professional film person. I'm. Yeah, I'm like, you're putting a lot of roller coaster over there. I'm just here to make you look good. I think that is looking cool. I like how the gold is, like, spreading out and, like, adding... Like, it gives it, like, this weird sense of depth. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Do you want to do the one through the colander for the last 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay. So let's take all the rest of the paint and put it together. Mm -hmm. um, okay, there's two ways we could do it. We could put it all in a cup mm -hmm. and then pour it through the colander, kind yeah. of like you did, but it would be through that. Mm -hmm. And then the other idea would be to just put the colander on here and then just pour it one color through at a time and let them mm -hmm. kind of grow out yeah. from there. I don't think it would be bad to just put it over top of this other painting. Yeah, I mean, this... This painting needs to be experimented on. Yeah. This one also, I mean, needs love. It's kind of funky. Let's do the colander one, and mm -hmm. then we can come back to these babies. Okay. And if they come out halfway decent, we can put them in the mini, I like the gallerini. Yeah. All right. So let's take the tray out from under here. Okay. Um, we'll get the setup here. Mm -hmm. So I got lots of cups. We can just put two cups here. Okay. And I, will that painting fit on top of that, or will it just overlap the whole thing? It. We can set it up with the corners. Okay, that's good. Let's just do that. That then. works. Okay. So this is an old piece of art that we've deemed needs to be uh, needs a makeover. Yeah, that's layer one. Yeah. So a layer one concept. Do you want, so the first choice is where do you, do you want to put it right in the middle or do you want to put it? Let's put it right in the middle. Okay. We're not, um, all right, are we doing where we put lots of colors through? Yeah, I think we all should just use them all up. I'm, but I mean like mix them all together and do a dirty cup again, which mm -hmm. we had great success with, uh -huh. or do individual colors coming out one at a time. It's Art is a whole series of decisions. I think we should do the dirty cup thing again. Okay. If that works. So far, that's what we've had the most success with. Okay. So I'm going to use the same dirty cup as before. We didn't even get any of the, none of the green Ooh, came out. Ooh, it just out. stuck in there. Yeah. It was heavy enough that it didn't um, come out. Okay, so let's do, let's do um, maybe blue on the bottom. Okay. We can use up the rest of that green gold, but maybe um, light made a, make it a little bit lighter weight with yeah. our new magical techniques. Yeah. Luckily, this is being recorded so we can look back in the future and see what we did, because I don't remember. Mm-hmm. And then let's do so a little bit of water. And... I've already got pouring medium in it, but we can add some oil. I just want to say thank you to everybody who joined us tonight. And uh, I just want to, again, check in. This is Art Spot, Edmonds, Washington. And uh, it's a cute little town with the Main Street. And our address is actually 408 Main Street, which yeah. I really love. And um, we're... We're pretending we know how to pay for it. Uh -huh. We're learning, which is really fun. <laughs> You know, it's that Martha Stewart thing, like, where she's already has it all figured out and she's perfect. And, yeah. no, you know, like, a lot of people, I don't well, know. Well, people come in Do we and all like ask Martha us Stewart? about all these new, like, art techniques, which are really, really cool. But, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, like, for me, like, my expertise is animation and sculpture. So, like, I've never done paint for us before. Mm -hmm. Like, this is really fun. Uh -huh. um, whereas, like, some of my coworkers, they do, like, watercolors and things like that. So, mm -hmm. it's like, we all, it's it's a really great opportunity for us to learn about different kinds of techniques mm -hmm. as well. I imagine anybody walking this. Oh my gosh.
Pam Cather is watching this from Chicago area, yeah. from college. Hi, Pam. Oh, my God. See that girl right there? That's my daughter. I know she, Pam has two lovely daughters as well. Hello. <laughs> An old college friend. <laughs> That's when your college friends are on there, my college yeah. friends. Yeah. I guess my LA friends um, are on there, but I consider them my college yeah. friends. Life is good. Yeah. Okay, so we're on. I added some black. Mm -hmm. I'm now putting in some teal. It's interesting because the weight, the paints are all like sitting at different levels. Yeah, like the heavier ones sink down. Okay. Are you gonna do some white? Oh yeah, I forgot about the color white. Because evidently the white titanium pigment is is what I understand is a heavier pigment and it likes to break into cells a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if that happens. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So our big grand finale is It doesn't have all the colors in it yet, but I figured this is, maybe we can do multiple paint pores. Yeah. Colors. Or we could just, you know, put more colors through. Yeah. Okay. Or should, do you think I should do like the cup technique with the colander? No, I think it's just pour it through. Okay. At least that's the way I've seen it done on TV. Ooh, is it coming through? It's coming through. <gasps> oh, look at that. It's, it's kind of like alien green. It's very green. Okay, I'm going to lift the colander up now. You know, you've got like a technique there. I'm like trying to do that thing. I out. thought it was all going to pour through and make stripes. Well, I think it would, but I think that some of it is too thick. We're getting like little drips. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an atrocious color. Oh dear. <laughs> that is truly horrible. But there is gold in it. No, there's not. I didn't put any gold in it no? yet. Oh. I had a feeling something bad like this might happen, so I... It was already a, a sad looking piece of art, now it looks... <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, put like... The cup still looks pretty. Oh, yeah, I'll add, add something else to it. I don't care what, couldn't okay. make it worse. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Do you want to do colander or is that just... No, the colander, I think what happened is the holes are too far apart. They're too small. Um, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I got an idea. It's pretty in the colander, but it's not really very pretty on here. I had a feeling. I was like mixing it and I was seeing how the weights were all, um, all the paints were sitting at, like mixing together in the cup and I was like, something bad's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... I'm sorry, it's hard for me to watch and not get involved, so I'm, I'm swirling. Yeah, just hold the camera steady. Well, that is just the worst color. Yeah, that's... it's Stay that's, away from green that's from now on. Yeah, I don't know. Green the, gold is not as fun as real gold. Um, it kind of bullied all the other colors and... Yeah, we've got to we got to save face, and we can't get off of this until no. we got to fix that. We 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 meaning you make it look better. Do something. Do something else. Okay, so I got another cup. No green. No green. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not holding it straight. Ooh, I like that. We got a ton of white too. Yeah. To use up. And there is always the gold in our back pocket. To... That looks cool. That's the Naples yellow kind of. No, story. that's the gold. Oh, that was. A little... I thought you said. Okay. I don't know where the Naples yellow went. I think it's gone. Okay. Or was this? Oh, was this not gold? I thought this was gold. That's a. Uh... This is gold, or is this? Oh, it is gold. Did we put the gold in with the Naples knit yellow? Is that what happened? No, I didn't mean to. If I did, I, I didn't mean to, mm -hmm. but I might have. Okay. I thought I started a fresh one. Okay. You know, we might have done the dirty pour right into the gold cup. I mean, the Naples yellow cup. Mm. That's probably what it was. Okay. I'm doing a fresh dirty pour cup. Got to cover up all this green. I, I kind of just want you to dump a bunch of white. Like, maybe make some blobs of white and see if they do something. Good. It's like you've been to art school. 
I have. <laughs> Ooh. Look at you go. All right, I'm just trying to cover up the green. That's because I gave you a spirograph when you were little. Right. What do you guys think? Does he think that minimizes the horrible green color? I think the only thing that can minimize it is if you keep putting more paint on until it's completely gone. Mm -hmm. She's living dangerous. The magenta and the green gold, I would say, are complementary colors, so... Well, I'm, I'm just we'll see what happens. I just think that the... the Magenta is the only thing that has a chance of fighting against the green. True. Oh, we destabilized the canvas. It's all going towards one side. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. It's a landslide! Ah. So we're learning is that when you see people do this on Instagram and they make it look really good on their first try, mm -hmm. think, of, like think of how many paintings they've done that look like this. Okay, you know what's happening now for some reason? It's kind of making me feel like it's a, you know what, it's Earth Day? Today is Earth. Does it look like the ocean and a landmass? It kind of looks like a weather report maybe? Yeah, it looks like one of those toxic rivers. Oh. But this looks like it could yeah, be like a this, tropical sea. Yeah, like it looks like it could be... Like, Let's just focus in on that part. That part's really yeah, nice. Yeah, that part turned out good. Okay. Um, it looks like, you know... Oh, look, my fingers. Mm -hmm. They're all they're all marbles. You're an artist. On the end. Yeah. Um, but, that's, your, that's your art spot apron. Yeah. Um, but... They'll know you walk the talk if you have some paint on you. Yeah, right? I'm like, I'm an artist. <laughs> I, I'm looking more and more like Tiny Tina. Um, well, it doesn't, like, it doesn't have, like, a focal point or anything. Is it just... It. When in doubt, add gold. This is the other thing that we have learned from tonight. When in doubt, add gold. This is no sense in black. Pam says it's awesome, and Stacy says it's fun to just mess with it. Yeah. That will add some contrast. Black. I wish we had more black. I wish it was. I wish it was like a stream coming out and not drips. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go down. What, do you want to mix mix up some more block? No, I think or just it's leave fine. this one all. Now it kind of looks like intestines, though. I don't know if I'm selling anybody on a paint pour because um, it kind of went from radioactive slime to intestines. There was that beautiful tropical sea there for a moment. Well, let's make it be more tropical sea. Let's pour it this way. Mm -hmm. You know, down below you is a is a canvas that's just got gray on it, yeah. gray primer. What if you take this painting and just take it and touch the surface to the other painting and transfer it? It has nothing to do with the paint pour, It'd but be a stamp, a paint stamp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Neutral gray. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I love you, Brynn. There's nothing that phases you. Like, okay, I'll give it a try. I'm just like, we can't make it any worse. <laughs> yes, we can. Look at that. What? I think it looks worse. Well, it's... It, it, but you know what? This is cool looking. <laughs> like that. It looks like one of the, the Wyoming type states, doesn't it? Or the, one of the Dakotas, something. Maybe. I don't know. I kind of like it. I'm going to go down and visit these so we can see if any... Oh, whoa! Look what happened down here when we weren't looking. Oh, hey, that looks cool. 
We got some. Th that's this one the, is definitely the best one. That's the cells. Yeah. I think this one's the best one because it doesn't have any green. <laughs> yeah. Stay away from the green. And then this is our first one. Yeah. That okay. one hasn't moved around at that all. One, that one was kind of beginner's luck, though, because it's actually really cool. Look at that. Mm hmm I was putting a fork through it, and yeah. it's thicker. It didn't have any water in it yet. Yeah. Jaming Lee says the gold is the sand to the tropical sea. Yay! Thank you for being a positive person. That's Ming. She's the best. Ming. Did I say her name right? Yeah, Jaming. Jaming. What a beautiful name. She just goes by Ming. Okay, well, I feel like we, she says the first one is so edgy and badass. Okay, I can finish my day feeling like a winner now. Yay! <laughs> I like these colors up here, so I think if I drip it this way, all the colors I don't like will go away. Will drip away. Well, they'll get sort of run over by the ones we do like. Yeah. It's really kind of unfortunate though. Yeah, but it's really quite... It's lost any of its uh, distinction. Yeah. It's like a background for something else. So what we've learned is that this is a lot harder than it looks to make it look good. I think you have to just make a whole lot of them. But it's very easy to have a lot of fun doing it. You know the thing that I want to do is that it makes me want to keep making more and more because every yeah. time we make one, it gives me another idea. Yeah. This is starting to look cool. This is doing some neat stuff. Yeah, I guess you just need to let it um, have a little time to work its magic. Yeah. Stop messing with it. Let let the paint do its thing, and it removes the hand of the artist in a, in a mm -hmm. way, which is kind of interesting. I like Ming for calling us um, edgy and badass. <laughs> really more you well, than me. Well, this is really fun. <laughs> All right, are we are we good? Maybe? Well, we promised everyone complete entertainment uh -huh. from seven to eight, and it is now eight. And uh, all right then. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody for watching again. This is Art Spot Edmonds, and. Uh, we'll be posting this video for anybody who might have missed the beginning if you are interested in see where we all started with the whole creative <laughs> process. Mm. Um, all these materials are available here, and we hope to see you again real soon. Love you all. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Yeah, go forth and make art. <laughs> Bye.